All right, I'm doing this video because I wanted to bring to light the rotten fruit of false prophets. I did this video a couple of days ago. You can see the title. And what happened was a couple of minutes ago, this person came to my channel and dropped five consecutive comments. They're very upset. So upset that they are calling down death upon me in the form of a prophecy from the Holy Spirit. So why am I showing you this? Well, because this is the fruit, this is the rotten fruit of these false prophets. Now, it's not bad enough that the false prophets falsely prophesy. It's not bad enough that they make their livings lying in the name of Jesus Christ. It's that they're teaching their followers to do the exact same thing. Case in point, HNNI is both displaying public hatred, just like his leader or her leader, and falsely prophesying, just like his or her leader. This is the fruit. Now, the first comment they left was, I'll read this. I cut you down from the heaven of heaven, says the Lord God to you, Drew Bloom 34. Your days are numbered, says the Holy Ghost to you, Drew Bloom 34. Can you imagine this? This person coming out publicly and lying in the name of the Holy Ghost? It's unbelievable. But they continue, I have marked you for slaughter, says the Holy Spirit. Right here, this word, this is hatred. This is absolute hatred by this person. Uh, but to you, Drew Bloom 34, because they say that I'm persecuting uh, the church. And this is absurd. Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock are in no way, shape, or form part of God's church. They are liars. And they've become millionaires doing it. But they continue, Annul yourself, Drew Bloom 34, and repent, or be utterly swept away, declares the Lord God from my heavenly throne. In Jesus' name, amen, declares the Holy Spirit, amen, amen. And they go on to sort of summarize the same thing. Through these apparently one one wasn't enough and so this person's calling down death upon me now that's kind of makes me chuckle because number one i know that it's unscriptural anti-christian rhetoric uh, but number two do you know how many people have called down death upon me over the years so to h n n i i say get in line get in line uh many people <laughs> I've called down death and I'm still here because I love Jesus Christ and I abide in his doctrine and I call out those that would make their living shipwrecking faith. Like this person's faith is shipwrecked, shipwrecked. There's hatred on full display. There's false prophecy and there's calling down death. All of it unscriptural. And so this is the fruit. This is what these false prophets have taught their followers to do. But here's what I would ask you. Pray for this person, H-N-N-I. Pray for this person. I don't think they really realize, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but it's, it's just sometimes so hard to grasp that any person name, uh, who names the name of Jesus Christ would leave these types of comments. I'm going to pray for this person. I would ask you to pray for this person, that they would come out of this delusion, this hate-filled delusion that they've been taught. Pray that they come back to the truth of Jesus Christ. Because this is just wrong. It's unholy and it's wrong. 